Hey guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about the pharmacology of albuterol. We give albuterol to our patients who are having wheezing or any kind of reactive airway, which can also happen at our patients who don't have a history of asthma, but maybe they've had something like bronchitis that's causing them to have that wheezing. And remember, what does wheezing sound like? Yep. Sounds like a fourth grader practicing hot cross buns on one of these devil's instruments. So you hear that wheezing, you decide to give your patient albuterol. Well, how is it working? It is a selective beta-2 adrenergic agonist. An agonist tells the cell, do the thing that you're really good at doing. And with our beta-2, remember beta-1, we have one heart. Beta-2 is the lungs because we have two lungs. The lungs breathe. That's the thing that they do. And so when we give this beta-2 adrenergic receptor, it tells the lungs to release that bronchoconstriction that these patients are having because of their uh, asthma or COPD or whatever their cause of bronchoconstriction. It could simply be an allergic reaction to something so that the patients can start moving air more effectively. Now, this is mostly beta-2 selective, but some of it accidentally sneaks over to the heart and affects the beta-1 receptors, which causes the patients to become tachycardic. That's why these patients on albuterol can be a little bit jittery and nervous after you've given them a couple of breathing treatments. Now, albuterol has a chemical cousin, Zopinex. Well, its government name is Levalbuterol, but it's even more selective for that beta-2, so we tend not to see that tachycardia and nervousness quite as much with the Zopinex. So there you have it, a little bit of pharmacology on albuterol. So that... <coughs>